Welcome Virgo to reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, so Virgo, let's go ahead and see what do you need to know about your love interest in the month of February. Let's find out. Spare what clear message wants to come through for my collective Virgos in love. Who is the person that is connected to them in love? What do we need to know about that person's energy? Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy or vibration of the person connected to the sign of Virgo? Interesting. Things are a little bit all over the place. Uh, what is this energy? Let's see. What do we need to know about the person connected to Virgo? Okay. Ooh, look at this. We have fertile. I want you to be the parent of my child. Interesting. Now, I see that there could be a new beginning here with someone that you possibly spend time with. Um, this is really interesting. Hmm. Someone wants to have your baby or someone is pregnant. Maybe someone um, is fertile now and they want to have your baby. But someone here, okay, is either with a child, they're, they're pregnant, or there is some sort of like child situation, okay, that you have with this particular person. Let's see what else. Spirit, what else do we need to know about the person that connected to Virgo? What do I need to know about the person connected to the sign of Virgo? Please clarify the fertility issue here. Someone wants to have a baby or they're already pregnant, or they want to be pregnant. What do we need to know about this person? One clear message, please spare it. Okay. Uh, we have tension, turbulence, arguments, and stress. Huh. So, Virgo, either maybe you have an issue with conceiving or, you know, I'm getting a couple different messages here, okay? Someone here is pregnant or they want to have a baby. Maybe uh, for you, Virgo, maybe you can't have a child, okay? Or it could be this person. Um, maybe they're stressed about, you know, time is ticking. Um, you know, they really want to try and have a family, but that is the issue here. The other thing I'm also getting is that Virgo, whoever that you you love, okay, they're pregnant with someone else. And that's caused some sort of tension, arguments between the two of you, okay? Take as it resonates. Um, it's either they're pregnant with someone or they want to have children or they want to have a family. And there are some arguments surrounding that. Let's see what else. Mm -hmm. 
Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Virgo? How do they uh, currently think? How do they feel? What did they want? And what is the outcome? What is the energy surrounding uh, Virgo and love? Let's see. All right, so we have here two of pentacles. This person is trying to balance themselves out. They don't know which direction they should go. Um, I have a feeling like for the past two years, this person wanted to get pregnant, wanted to have a baby. Um, and so I'm getting that somebody is pregnant with somebody else's baby and um, they want to know, you know, would you be the parent for this unborn child? Okay, and that's for some. That's not for everyone. I have a feeling like for you, Virgo, I'm not getting that this is your child. I feel like it's somebody else's child. And um, yeah, there's like arguments. There's a debate on that. So which direction should your person go? Should they, you know, part ways from you? Or should they... Um, try to, I don't know. I have a feeling like someone here is pregnant, but I'm not feeling that it's yours. Now, I know that this reading isn't going to resonate for everyone, but it's um really clear for the collective who may be watching this reading. And if it doesn't resonate, you can check out your other placements, your sun, your rising, or Venus signs. Look at this. We have here um, the Knight of Cups. Do you, do you see like there's like handshaking and stuff like that? I'm really getting like this is rivalry. This is like uh, in a place of duality trying to figure out like which direction that they should go. I have a feeling like you and this particular person, you guys live separately like in two different cities. And this person has to be in a certain place and um, maybe you live in another location and um, yeah, it's like there there must be a third party somewhere, okay? Now, I see that they really want to work on this uh, connection. So they want to know, like, would you, I don't know, that's a really hard uh, thing to take responsibility for, right? If you guys really love each other, um, will a baby, if this person uh, had a baby out of wedlock or um, there was some cheating going on and, you know, maybe maybe this is your baby, maybe it's not. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a really weird situation. Maybe for some of my Virgos, you can't have a child and they had to have like in vitro or, um, I don't know, had a donor, okay? That's what I'm getting, but I'm not really getting that so much. I really feel like your person got knocked up by someone else, okay? Just saying. Now, how do they feel? I see that, you know, they really want to push through this energy, and they're really sad, okay? So they're trying to think positively, Um about the circumstance that yeah there is like fighting between two people i see your queen of swords so they want to tell you the truth that they were conflicted between you and some something else or someone else they really want to get to the bottom of this okay i mean what whatever has happened has happened somebody here is already with a, a child okay whether or not that's yours or someone else's okay now the intention we have here the Emperor, also the Four of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Time is ticking, okay? They know that, you know, they're on a time schedule here. And they're making plans. You know, I really feel like they're kind of in their head about what they need to do. Should they, you know, continue to have a relationship with you or a situation? Or should they, you know, be on their own or go somewhere else? I don't know. I feel like someone here... Is pregnant, but I'm, I'm not getting that it's yours. And they're feeling alone. They don't know what to do. So, I mean, was this a mistake, child? I mean, that that's the feeling that I'm getting. And also, you know, they're really stressed because they're working. 
and they're really conflicted. They really don't know what to do. That could be like the tension that your person is feeling, the stress. Now, in the outcome, okay, we have your temperance. You could be dealing with the Sag. Also, Nine of Wands energy and also Seven of Cups. You know, I'm feeling that your person is trying to make a decision. They want to get out of feeling like so guarded. This is what I'm feeling. Maybe you don't know who the baby is, okay? Like if it's yours or not. And you have to wait it out to see, um, you know, with time, okay, this is going to take some patience. It may take seven months. Maybe the baby is due like in uh, July, okay? June, July. There's a lot of turbulence here, a lot of water energy. I, I see it in here twice. There's arguments that's going on between the two of you. There's stress. Maybe for some, you're in a marital situation. And um, yeah, someone dipped out, got knocked up. But this person wants you to be, you know, the parent of the child. You know, whoever that they had a child with <clears throat> I don't know that's why I, I don't know this is like a weird energy so if this is resonating with you please let me know in the comment section below I really feel like this is a specific message for somebody but this is the energy that I'm picking up for today there's tension between you and someone else about having a child and it's really up to you Virgo Okay, whether or not you want to do this. So, they don't want to fight. There's someone here. I don't know. Someone might lose a baby. So, the, the, the Empress card in reverse could also mean miscarriage or um, someone who has a hard time of conceiving. Okay, also you see here the King of Cups. This person doesn't want to fight the fact that, I don't know, somebody here can't really conceive. Now, okay, this isn't for everyone, but Virgo, are you the one that can't? Because there's love here, but I don't know. Is that an excuse? Um uh, So this right here is judgment, and also we have here the moon in reverse, and also the, um, I want to say this is king of swords in reverse. They want to tell you the truth that they haven't been honest, okay? That they're just afraid of how you might see them, okay? They're afraid of being judged. That's what I'm saying. A lot of time has passed. They really feel like maybe this won't work out. Okay. And they want to get a conflict about maybe somebody here went to a bar and got drunk. Okay. And that's possibly where it happened. Somebody got knocked up. Okay. When they went out drinking. Maybe it was because uh, maybe the two of you got into a fight. Or maybe it's this person that got into a fight with um, someone else. And then they got knocked up. And then you're sitting here on the sidelines. It has some kind of energy dealing with that. This is um, like drama. <laughs> you know. But regardless, at the end of the day, this person wants to choose you to be the parent of whatever child that this person has. Whether or not it's yours or someone else's. And that's a hard pill to swallow. I'm not going to lie. That, that's really tough. Let's see. What else does your person want to say? Because, you know, I know that this isn't going to be everybody's reading. But it's definitely showing up for whatever reason for my collective Virgos. So. Okay. Massage. I want a massage with a happy ending. So someone here likes to have a massage. Um, maybe they want to give you a massage or, you know, 
Or maybe, you know, you guys massage each other. One thing leads to another. Okay. Let's see. I feel like there's another message here. Yeah, sit on my face. Sit on my face until you ride, until you drip. And ride until you drip. <laughs> So, yeah, um, massaging and drip drip, you know, that kind of thing. You know, one the thing about sex, okay, sex is an act of love. Yeah, there's the whole lust factor, you know, you can get like erotica and all this and that, right? But, I mean, at the end of the day, when, when the drip comes out, right, and it makes contact, that is conception. That is, you know, that's when two come together, they conceive this act of love, you know, and that's really difficult. If this isn't your baby, then what is this massage and sit on my face? Like, what does that mean? You know, you have to really think about it. It was temporary, you know? Was this a temporary act between the two of you? Was it a temporary thing between them and someone else? I feel like it's different for everyone. That's something to really think about. Especially now that, you know, this person is in limbo. I have a feeling like you guys aren't really physically together. This person lives in a different city, okay, or a different town or country. And that's what I'm getting. Let's see. What is the advice or guidance that you have, Spirit, for this collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? So I really feel like this is a specific reading for a particular Virgo. And like I said, if this resonates with you, then you were intended to hear this message. And if it doesn't resonate, again, you can go ahead and book a reading. My readings are on sale uh, until the 15th. And so... Let's go ahead and see, Spirit. What is the guidance message that you have for the collective Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or the Cross Watcher? Wow, we have Crown Chakra. Crown Chakra is out of balance, so this is the top of your head now. This is kind of ironic, right? Okay, when, when you have sex, okay, you have to think about your chakra systems. And the, the crown is at the top. This is where it goes, ding, you know, straight up to the heavens, right? Now... The thing about, you know, having like this orgasm, okay, it can go up straight to the crown, okay, or it can go up to the head and back down so that it, it's like a, this, um, you keep it within yourself, okay, so it doesn't escape you. That's when you know, like, it was good or not, right? Because if it was good in your lease, and even after the fact, you know, you're just waiting for it to dissipate, then that was just sex, okay? Now, if you, you did the act of love, okay, then you will know, you will receive like this um, energy going up to your crown, but it will actually go shoot back down and it will recycle itself and it will keep within your body. That's when you know, like, you know, um, the energy is kind of, intertwined between you and the person that you co-created with you know but what i'm seeing here is that this crown chakra is out of alignment something's off so in order to clear you know your chakra systems there's a couple ways of doing it first you can definitely um Wear the color purple. You can do some basic uh, stuff. Wear the color purple. You can do um, sound uh, sound therapy, right? Um, whatever the frequency that is equivalent to the crown chakra. Also, uh, you can eat purple foods like uh, purple cabbage, eggplant, um, and anything else like purple onions, you know, stuff like that. And... Um, and also do meditation, okay? Meditating, being a, observant of your crown chakra, clearing your space. I also do this to Reiki, where I go to the chakra systems and clear each chakra so that it's in alignment with the whole uh, body, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. 
if you can really clear your your chakra then you will know if you want to be the parent of this child you have to really think about it okay this person is like sit on my face you know let's have a massage you know but is there more to than you know the act of doing stuff is this person willing to you know go all in you know especially if they went astray it's really a personal you know um personal decision right you have free will to choose so i really hope that that was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and if you'd like to book your personal reading with me you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition i hope y'all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye <music>